Okay, so six to seven hour hike. There's quite a lot of snow on the pass, I think. <laughs> From here it looks like it, so yeah, we will see. Um, I just hope that we will find the way. You know, I thought, well, we don't need a guide, we don't need anything. Um, we have Maps Me, which is a free offline map that you can just use for free, really. And uh, most trails are on there, except for this one, of course. So he just drove us 40 kilometers up this valley away from town, and we're supposed to go across a pass, which is behind me there somewhere. And um, yeah, I don't even have a dotted line on my map, so we just have to guess our way there, I guess. It's windy! I love going downhill in low scree, it's so much fun. It's like, it's almost like surfing down a mountain. Woo! Yeah! Good morning everyone. I'm late for sunrise as usual. As you can see behind me it's already hitting and it's looking really epic. I woke up looking out the window and could see the golden light hitting the mountains over there. And now I'm not going to waste any time, let's go shoot some photos. Sort of woke up without a plan which might turn into a little of a problem right now because the sun is glowing over there. The mountains are glowing as well and I don't really know where I want to go. Uh, so. I'm just going to take the easy road and go down to the water here, there's a river and hopefully get some reflections, something simple maybe there's a nice foreground here, I mean all the elements are here, I just have to figure out what I want to shoot in the minutes I get to with the golden light so if you ever get to shoot a sunrise in a location that's new try and think of the shot before you actually head out and don't waste your time like I'm doing right now wandering around, looking for photos, chasing the light as they call it. Chasing the light is probably the worst place you can be in. You want to be prepared for the light, so yes, don't do what I'm doing right now. Okay. I knew that I was, was that I wasn't prepared for the sunrise. So instead of taking a wide angle and looking for foreground elements, I picked up, I picked up the 40 to 150. Yes, so I could shoot stuff in the distance. So I can be in one place and shoot many different shots of different things. So I can shoot mountains, I can shoot the village, I can shoot the river, I can shoot the sun, I can shoot silhouettes. So all those things I can shoot with a long lens. So yeah, if you're not prepared, maybe take a long lens, pick one lens and decide what kind of shot you're going for. So instead of looking for reflections this morning, I should be looking at stuff in the distance and zooming in right into 150 slash 300 millimeter equivalent and shooting the stuff that's far away.
Yeah, we're doing a little stopover in the middle of nowhere in a little village that apparently can issue um, the permits for the Zolkul region, which is like a nature reserve, uh, which we do need a permit for. Um, we were actually wondering how we were going to get it because normally you can only get it from the place that we end in and not where we are now. So yeah, bit of a problem, but apparently um, things are easily solved here in the middle of nowhere. So yeah. I think our driver made some calls and, you know, there might have been a bottle of alcohol or some money involved and uh, our permits are coming our way in two minutes. morning we are in the middle of nowhere and there's a hot spring and this guy has built the most amazing place here as you can see behind me it's fully glass and this is just a little front veranda of the hot spring and I'll show you the hot springs and yeah amazing last night we arrived pretty late so we went for a little bath really late but um, look at this this might steam up a little yeah natural hot spring built into something awesome. Uh, you're steaming up. That's... All right, yesterday was the longest day. I think we drove over 12 hours to get here. It was a bit crazy. We arrived later than we thought we would. And yeah, we got stuck on a military checkpoint. They just didn't let us through. So we had to go back, which we knew would happen, but we were sort of trying to get through anyway, but they were asking for $12, um, you know, behind the back. So we thought, that's only 20 kilometers shorter than going back and around, so really not worth $12 for us. That might not be a lot of money, but that is just not what you do. You don't bribe the military, not in the middle of the country. On the border, I get it. That's how this thing works. It's like an unspoken rule. Everyone knows that's how it is, but I don't think on a checkpoint we should be paying the military to go through a road that's, you know, open or closed, whatever they decide. So yeah, that was yesterday. That really broke the time a bit because we waited over an hour there and then obviously lost an hour because we had to go the long way around and arrived here after dark really didn't shoot much again but um yeah today's going to be another long day and i think uh, we might arrive after dark again so let's get cracking
that's another 10 hour ride behind us. We've arrived at a place called Bolukul in the middle of nowhere in Tajikistan. Um, there's two beautiful lakes here which we'll probably be shooting tomorrow but for now pack our stuff get something to eat and then the sky is crystal clear so I'll be shooting some some stars the Milky Way and I'll be sharing some tips we're doing a little stopover in a little village in the middle of nowhere to pick up a permit for the what's it called for, uh, for the what isn't it Zolkul? I don't know. Zolkul region. I'm just going to start.